DNR crews face new challenges as they search for two IU students missing at Lake Monroe. The department says 19-year-old Sidat Shah and 20-year-old Aryan Vadya did not resurface when they were boating with a group of friends Saturday afternoon. Today was the third day of their search. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik was at the lake today and tonight he shows us the efforts to try and find them. Search crews have focused most of their time out here. This is where the group of boaters initially anchored, eventually drifting a little ways. That's where the search efforts have mainly focused. And while DNR says Saturday was a great day for many people to get back out on water, today's weather and wind gusts have posed a unique set of challenges for their recovery efforts. As the Whitecaps repeatedly hit the shore on a windy Monday afternoon, DNR crews aren't able to put all their recovery tools to use. We have a lot of high-end, high-tech equipment, um, but a lot of that is dependent on being in a, a stable environment. Search boats scan the water for hours, hoping to narrow their efforts. These are always difficult because the person is, is underwater, so there's no, there's no imagery, there's no precise imagery to look for that. Not the causeway, but the point right here at the marina. Lieutenant Angela Goldman with DNR says the group went swimming and their double-deck pontoon started drifting. She says Arian struggled to stay afloat. Friends jumped in to help, including Sadat. The number one thing people can do to prevent these kind of tragedies is wear that life jacket. For now, divers remain on standby until the search crews can pinpoint the two IU students' location. Well, right now, our, our search area is still too big to just send divers down and just start blindly searching. IU tells us in a statement the university is deeply saddened. Both Kelly Business School students are missing, but the university says it's thankful for all the work put in over the last three days. We will continue to search. We will continue to search until we find them. Now, DNR will be back out here again tomorrow early in the morning, hoping to have more hands on deck and also bring out some of those tools they weren't able to use today, including a few different sonar devices, an underwater drone, and a cadaver dog. In Moreau County, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.